Hi Hi everyone. Hi, I'm Anya. This is Austin. And this is Alex. And we are at the Horny Man Museum. We and are two for exploring. <laughs> Austin, yeah. I've got a challenge today. We're not just going to look around the museum, we're going to go on a book hunt. Do, do, do. Going on a book hunt. We're not scared. No. Uh -oh. We're going to see if things in the museum are yeah. reminding us of any children's books. Yeah. Yeah? How many do you think we can spot? Ten. Ten books. Okay. Challenge accepted. Let's go. We found our first book, The Dodo. Now, there's a book called Alice in Wonderland, Austin. Yes. And it's got a dodo in the book. Yeah. <gasps> Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> That's our first book. So Alice in Wonderland's also got another animal that is in here, and it's got very long tusks. It's a walrus. Can you see the walrus? Yeah. The overstuffed walrus. It's also got its own Twitter account, this walrus. Okay. We are... Oh, oh man, how can you miss that? This is very famous. Walruses are massive, aren't they? Yeah, it's a walrus. Yeah. Can you say walrus? Walrus. Yes. It's a dog. A dog. Harry McClary from Donalds and Dairy by Lindley Dodd. Winston was worried by Pamela Duncan Edwards. It's got a bulldog called Bert. Oh, look, that's a bulldog. A bulldog? Yeah. Perhaps that's Bert. Do you know any wolf books? She wears a red cloak no. and goes through a forest. Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood. That's the most famous wolf book. Thank you, thank you. favourite book? Can you see an animal in this museum <gasps> that's got a character from this book in? What is that? Do you know what that is? Ostrich. Uh, 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 ostrich. Can you find an ostrich? Yeah. yeah. Ah, the ostrich from Hand of Surprise. Hello. There's a whale. The snail and the whale. I'm going to make it smaller. Late. <laughs> Late. And now we go. No. A real mammoth tusk. Look at that. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have tea in my underground house. Ooh. Ah. What's it feel like? Nice. And soft. It feels soft. Here by these rocks and his favourite food is roasted fox. There's a butter in Peter Rabbit. Oh. Ooh, what's it feel like? Feel the ear. It's quite rough. Can I feel the ear? I'll feel the ear. It's <laughs> a bushy tail. That, 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 that's the tip tail. What's an owl sound like, Eric? <gasps> a mouse saw a nut and the nut looked good. What books is Eric? Gruffalo. The Gruffalo by Julia Donaldson again. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, look at them, they're fast. Hello. Hello, little mouse. <laughs> 
another great book with a mouse in. It's George and the Dragon and Princess. It's brilliant. It's about a little mouse and a very big dragon. Hello, little mouse. Austin, guess how much I love you. Guess how much I love you. And the moon and I'm back. <laughs> to the lower ground. We've just seen taxidermy which are stuffed animals. Mm. Welcome to the music gallery. Ready? Press the little one, the middle one. Look, look. That's this one. Yeah. That's the real instrument. That's what it sounds like. Can you hear the harp? Yeah. It's good. Higher sound. Ooh. Loving the hands-on music room. So if it's a family ticket to see an exhibition, it's about 18 pounds, and the aquarium's about two pound 50 per child, so it does add up. So I decided to become a member because I do live nearby. Um, and we're gonna go in. We're gonna go, we're gonna go. I have got my tickets. <laughs> Okay, this exhibition is pretty cool. Austin, where's your, where's your body gone? Eric, where's your body gone? Your camouflage, like a chameleon. How can I go? I go. It's like that book, Halibut Jackson. Halibut Jackson by David Lucas. So we're going to the basement where the aquarium is. <gasps> look, there's real starfish. Oh, look at this. that. Sea urchin. Here's a sea urchin. Two, yeah. three, four, five. Five. Five arms. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. Mm. Look. How can je jellyfish see? How can they see? I don't know if they, they haven't really... I don't know. What a good question. Should we find that out when we get home? Yeah. I don't know if Jennifer can, fish can see. I don't think they have eyes. I don't really know. So, so, so we'll have to find that out as a question, yeah, to answer when we get home. Oh, Mr. Seahorse, Eric Carl. Simon Bartram. Again. You like this story, don't you? Yeah. Can you spot any fish? Yeah. This one. Oh. Slowly, slowly, said the sloth by Eric Carr. Set in the Amazon rainforest. Yeah. There's the butterfly. Where's the frog? Pretend you're in the Amazon. Close your eyes and just listen to the sounds. A bit too nice, maybe? Oh. Look, Austin, this is the famous Hordyman walrus chocolate biscuit. Can you see it? Ooh. It's a gorgeous day. Apparently, there's some animals to see here, too. So, we became a member because over threes. Um, is accounted as a guest and so it was 41 pounds if I just paid it could have been direct debit and it would have been five pound cheaper but I know I would have 
probably forgotten to cancel the direct debit, so I just did a one-off. <gasps> and it smells really good here because all the flowers are starting to come out. <gasps> Check it out! Wow, what a view! Yes, you can see the shards! And the gherkin, and the walkie-talkie! <sighs> and St Paul's! That's amazing! There's a little zoo here, which is a bonus. By the way, we've got a magic whistle. They're like puppies. Oh, it usually works. <laughs> And the Horniman Museum is not only a museum, but it's also got a massive outdoor area with outdoor instruments, great view and animal walk. Welcome to the animal walk. 12.30 to 4. Ooh. Can anyone yeah. find me something to do with this book? Trip, trap, trip, trap. save you drop over my bridge. Hello. So the Horniman Gardens is 16 acres and they do lots of events like farmers markets and Easter hunts. So check out the website. Well what did I learn today? Oh my gosh, I learned the most amazing fact. You know poisonous dart frogs? Apparently they're not poisonous in captivity. I never knew that. It's because they eat toxic insects in the wild and of course they don't have toxic insects to eat in captivity, so they're not poisonous. Wow, I didn't know that. And, and also the ones from the wild coming into captivity soon lose their toxicity. Is that the right word? We found over 10 books in the museum. Yeah. We found Halibut Jackson, yeah. Owl Babies. <gasps> Do all sleeps his diary. Oh yeah, I love that one. And then we've just discovered some ants outside. Spotted some ants. Eric spotted some ants. Wow, look at them. There's loads of them. I wonder where they're going. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> been to the Horniman Museum and we saw some jellyfish. What was your question? We need to look up. Um, do jellyfish have eyes? Should we look mommy? it up then? Yeah, look up. Okay. Mm, jelly. Oh, look, it's the first question. Okay, jellyfish have human-like eyes. Look, is it that does... look at that. Jellyfish do have eyes. Hmm. Or well, some have primitive eyes. There you go. Thanks for asking that interesting question. Yeah. <laughs>